Good morning, everybody. So it is Tuesday and the dogs are getting groomed since we don't have to deliver the load that we brought in to stay at home time until um, later on tonight or afternoon, I should say. So dogs are getting groomed. I head back to the house, get to relax a little bit longer. Um, and then I come pick them up and then off we go. So I will see you in an update in a little bit today. So I'm here waiting for Dimitri to get back, right? So I figured I'd let you guys know a little bit of what our plans are or what exactly is going on. So one, excuse this mess, like this is bad, but whatever. So basically right now I'm riding passenger. The reason I'm riding passenger in the truck is because he, for the truck he drives, you need to have a CDLA license. I have a CDLB license, so more like straight trucks. So our plan is expediting. So there's straight trucks, I can have mine, it's a B license, and that's what our plan is. But I wanted to inform you guys the reason why I'm always passenger is because I don't have my A license, so I can't drive the one he's driving. Um, so we have things in the works to actually go with expediting, but you got to be careful. And he taught me a lot about this. Um, I noticed with what he's told me and what his mom also went through when she was trying to do the expediting is a lot of fleet owners. Or if you go straight to a big company, um, they'll just put you with any fleet owner and not all fleet owners are good fleet owners. So be careful and research and call these owners and talk to them and see how everything goes look at reviews um we'll definitely let you know which one we choose there's one that we really want but you also some of them want you to have certain endorsements like tanker and hazmat which we're working on as well but until we get that we really want to start looking for um a fleet owner that we don't have to have that to have some experience until we get that and that's pretty much what's rolling into a plan right now. Um, so that's, I wanted to just give you a heads up of the reason why I was passenger and not driving with him. So I just wanted to let you know why I was passenger, basically. Um, and that was the reason and the little bit of a plan is our main goal is expediting. Um, we'll talk more into expediting uh, me and him together um, in future videos. And I also want to get to the point that, you know, I'll show you around the truck we have now and then the truck we, we will be getting into when we expedite. But definitely, if expediting is your thing, definitely call fleet owners, see reviews, um, talk to them, know everything first before you just hop in. Because sometimes um, they'll tell you one thing with the big companies and then all of a sudden you're not making that money or they put you with somebody else. Um, definitely definitely too if you want to do expediting it's always best to do it with a partner same household income it works out better that way um, however you can do it as a partner that somebody you know but it's nice to go with somebody you know or, or rather than letting somebody else that you don't know randomly go with you or going by yourself that definitely doesn't work um but that's our plan so far and we will definitely keep you posted on all on that and bring out more information so if you do want to do expediting or anything like that um, if you have any questions about expediting or future plans or fleet owners or how to go about things definitely leave it in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to you know um, show you some of the links that Dimitri's looking at. Um, once we find a fleet owner, we'll be more than happy to give that information as well. But I just wanted to give you a little heads up on what our plan is, why I'm passenger and not driving. But uh, I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you soon. Bye.
there's this new thing happening that everybody is going with plant-based burgers and sandwiches and sausage and blah 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 so we were at Dunkin Donuts and we saw a plant-based sandwich so since we did the impossible Whopper we figured why not now I'm gonna try this one myself he's not up to it but from Dunkin Donuts hopefully it's good everybody's going plant-based so let's check it out here goes nothing I do not like it. It's dry. You can taste the big difference in it. I mean, for some people it may taste good and maybe if I kept eating it, I would grow to like it, but I'm not even gonna bite another bite of that. Um, however, hope you like this video. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so you can get future videos. Have a great day.